it this way, crappy soil, and you're not a really great gardener, and you, you got all kinds of varmints chewing on your garden stuff. Daylilies are pretty much foolproof. And of course, we're talking Roberta's daylilies, so we're talking about things that you don't see in the garden center. This is our 10 piece Select 300 series flower of power daylily. Look at those colors 10 bulbs for $37.74. And if you use your Q card, three Q card easy pays of $12.58. That dragon's eye. Oh, Derek, yeah. these Day are beautiful. Daylilies, Pat, they're the most dependable, durable, can't kill them. Right. You know, if you're a first time gardener, them. this is yeah. the sort of thing that you want to grow. But usually daylilies are not very impressive, so they're easy to maintain, but you don't get much for your money. Derek, you know, I mean, you and I know, and listen, I live near a garden center that I love the people at the garden center and the things that they do, but many, I mean, they have a limited inventory. Your family, and you're the fourth generation, mm -hmm. your family has traveled the world looking for things that are truly different. When we say hard to find, these are hard to find, because you know those little yellow daylilies that I get at the, you know, at the garden center are fine, but I want my garden to be special, and we want yep. yours to be special. And that's why the daylilies we have now are not the average daylilies, mm -hmm. but this 300 series flower powered daily, I mean, just to kind of set the record straight, there are thir over 35,000 varieties of daylilies, Pat, in the world. Thir uh, 35,000. 35, wow. And 10% okay. of those, around 3,500, are what are called rebloomers. So they, they have an extended bloom period of three to four months as opposed to three weeks, like a traditional daylily. So the one that we're showing everyone is three to four months of bloom time. But it's not just that, because 10% of those rebloomers mm -hmm. are simultaneously also able to produce 300 or more flowers by the third season. So by the third season, because we are talking about perennial, so mm -hmm. I buy these and these are easy to put in and we'll show you the, the growing guide. And every year they kind of flourish more and more and more, right? So by the yep. third year. Each plant will produce over 300 flowers during the season. And that means one collection mm -hmm. can produce 3,000 daylily flowers. Yeah. Now the idea over is the these varieties are really special. I mean, we're talking 1% of the world's best daylilies in this collection. There's five varieties and you're getting two of each. Okay. And they create such a, a melange of beautiful color in the garden. And we have to remember that a daylily, they are oh, very easy to these. grow, but when you have them out in the yard, mm -hmm. like you can see coming up, this is stunning. And you're going to have that from July all the way up to the first frost. My father, my uncle in Holland, personally picking out the varieties. Wow. Mildred Mitchell, you're oh. getting two of these. Also fragrant, sweet like lilac, big six to seven inch flowers, schnickel fritz. This is a, a white cream apricot, and it's a double flowered variety. This means oh, that it's a flower it's within gorgeous. a flower. Now, Orchid Candy, oh, that, pretty. producing 100 flowers the first year per plant. You know, because all of these varieties, you know, you're going to get five to six stems the first year, and each one will easily produce around 20 flowers. Okay. You know, each stem. You have Dragon's Eye. These come from the Far East. All these varieties are really special, and Custard Candy. Another, these are what we consider in our family designer fashion lilies. That's a good because way to put it. The hybridizers, they've taken much care and painstaking attention to create such a wonderful look on each flower. Let's go through a little bit. And you know what? Um, we'll start here. This is what you're going to send us. So we're mm -hmm. going to get 10 of these. You all do a very good job of packaging them and labeling the package. So if you like are a schemer, I'm not when I garden, I just like to throw it all in. But if you like to scheme and you know plan things out that way, you'll be able to identify them. This is, is this a tuber or a bulb? This is technically a root. A root. Tuber, yeah. And the thing is, <laughs> they're the alive. Above. They're That's alive. Uh -huh. You can see the green tip here. This mm -hmm. is unique with Roberta's. This is the Roberta's difference because what we are sending to your home is fresh from Holland. Uh -huh. We keep these preserved in a refrigerator. We don't have them preserved by toxic poison chemicals, which make them have a long shelf life. So when you get them home, expect them to be in full bloom this year. You're not going to have to wait for a whole nother season like that. Here's a couple of thoughts for you, and we're gonna talk about where you could put them. 
but you will get this along with it. So if you're looking at it and you're going, I don't know, I never planted anything in my life, Pat, that's fine. You know, I think gardening is just learning. So it shows you exactly, there's the crown, educates you, tells you, you know, where to place them. Was I right in saying you don't have to have the best soil in the world? Totally, yeah. These love any kind of soil. Now, I recommend that you have at least a half day of sunlight up to a full day but not less than that okay. and put them in places like uh, garden beds walkways edgings against your house or you know i used to have in the house i grew up in i had a huge kind of just like i don't know soil embankment and we just filled mm -hmm. it with daylilies so easy to but what and they we had back with, year after year yeah. what you buy today will be better next year and even bigger and better the following year on this um, that's what I think a lot of us think of when we think of a daylily. It's just that yellow Celadora mm -hmm. um, daylily. Here's the other thing, and please remind us about the spray and flourish, Derek. So the spray and flourish, you need this in conjunction with any good fertilizer. I'm sure